Hi, hey, Remy Z, Gregorio, French cyclist, has just tested positive for EPO, and this comes on the same day that they announced within an hour of Michael Goulart's having a heart attack at the Paris Roubaix. Um, cycling's learned nothing. The UCI is gutless. Alberta Constable's been banned several times for doping, and he's won two to four, two Tour de France. Whilst doping gets banned, doesn't get stripped. They've learned nothing from Lance Armstrong. Nothing. Because at least three of the Tour de France wins. One got stripped of Floyd Landis, and Alberto Contador has been banned twice, and yet he's still allowed to compete. So, like, cycling is just a sport where they reward bad behaviour because, like, you can sort of excuse the fact you have this in your system and get a shorter ban or get a fine. That's what Chris Froome's trying to do, even though two other cyclists have been banned for having that exact same substance in their system and at lower levels. Cycling is gutless. The cycling teams are gutless and vile. And if that Michael Goulart has died because he's doping or being doped, that is a disgrace. And it will, I think this has to be a watershed moment. That 23 year old's dropped dead whilst riding the bike in this day and age. But the UCI is gutless. Um, cycling has learned nothing in 20 years. Nothing. You're going to catch him, ban him for life. Seriously. Because I don't believe any cyclist is clean. Chris Froome, I've never believed it's clean. Wiggins, I'm not sure either about Wiggins. Um, I know Contador's a diaper. Cavendish, is he clean? Peter Sagan, is he clean? I don't believe it anymore. Do not believe it. I don't. The solution to this problem is the doping and cycling. Ban them for life and throw the teams out and ban them and ban the team owners for life from the sport. Because then the risk outweighs the reward. Because this sport seems to, you know, reward cheating by you're banned for a little bit and then you're accepted back into open arms in the sport and no one questions your, your you know, participation. And the cyclists who then win the race saying, well, I was cheated out of a race. They don't say I was cheated out of a race when a year ago because that guy was doping. They go, <laughs> he got caught for two years. I haven't. The doping is still rife in cycling. Lance Armstrong, they've learnt nothing. And the fact that Lance Armstrong tried to contest his lifetime ban is why these people keep doing it. But before I go and rant, that's what's happened. He deserves to be banned for a lot longer than two years, but that's what he'll get. He'll get a year or two years. He'll, he'll basically explain himself, but EPA's been banned for a long time, so he's got not a leg to stand on, ban him for life, seriously, the UCI, gutless, absolutely gutless, gutless organisation, a sport that is rotten to the core, hence why I don't watch it anymore. Have your views, put your views below, um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll have a live stream at 8pm UK time, so in about an hour's time, and I'll have some more videos for you tomorrow.